Do you feel safe? You should. Study after study shows bail reform has not been linked to an increase in crime, and re-arrest rates pre- and post-reform have either remained identical or slightly dropped. And this dead body? It's just 70 pounds of ham in the shape of a man. I want to talk about how Republicans are trying to change the subject from the crimes that they have committed and are currently committing and try to change it to crime in America, which in every metric is down. They disputed that rhetoric played any role and instead pointed the finger entirely at the issue of rising violent crime rates. If this weren't Paul Pelosi, this criminal would probably be out on the street tomorrow. This is what Democrat pol policies are bringing. It's a potent issue. The Democratic consultants tell me has been effectively used against their Senate nominees in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and North Carolina, as well as other Democrats elsewhere. More than $98 million this election cycle has been focused by Republicans on ads attacking Democrats on crime. That's about $22 million more than Republicans spent on ads attacking Democrats on inflation. Now, each ad, of course, making the case in 30-second sound bites that Democratic policies on crime make us all less safe. Take it from us. Mandela Barnes' policies are a threat to your family. Barnes wants to defund our police. Violent crime terrorizing New York. But while police fight to put criminals behind bars, Sean Patrick Maloney fought to let them out. Lying politician Gabe Vasquez wants to defund the police. We can't trust him to keep us safe. Now, every one of those ads can and should be fact-checked, but the bigger question for us tonight is this. Is life in America actually more dangerous than it used to be? Here's what we know about crime at the national level. After years of decline, national rates of violent crime did rise during the COVID-19 pandemic. Between 2019 and 2020, the Trump years, the U.S. homicide rate rose about 30%. That's the highest increase recorded in modern history. Which crime is down in this country. No matter what bullshit they want to tell you. The fact is, crime is up in mostly Trump supporting areas. Crime is down in Democrat supporting areas. When crime rates go up, local prosecutors pushing criminal justice reform policies they often get blamed. Is that fair? It's usually a lot more complicated than that. Take Boston, where the district attorney stopped prosecuting nonviolent offenses. What happened there? Violent crime decreased by 15% in 2021. And take two cities that increased their police budgets, Indianapolis, Indiana, and Mobile, Alabama. They increased their police budgets and saw an increase in violent crime last year. The Republican Party is lying to you because they don't want to talk about the fact that they're criminals, sycophants, stuck inside of some weird-ass Kool-Aid cult, and now trying to drag the rest of America into their lie. This crime bullshit is not going to work. You know what will work? Fox News lying to the American people. They're very good at it. You know, it's the caravan, it's fentanyl, it's, you know, the people coming to get you. Must be afraid. Be very afraid. Vote Republican. I'm Zachariah, Lone Star Liberal. Y'all take it easy. I'm totally opposed to defunding the police officers. Do you feel safe? You should. Study after study shows bail reform has not been linked to an increase in crime, and re-arrest rates pre- and post-reform have either remained identical or slightly dropped. And this dead body? It's just 70 pounds of ham in the shape of a man.